Hello viewers, welcome to DMT Nation where I talk about digital marketing tools, SaaS products, management softwares and more. Few days back my Photoshop plan, plan got expired and cannot renew it because the paper because previous year I paid with PayPal and right now I don't have access to that PayPal and uh, I cannot change my country that's the reason why I cannot add my card to make the payment so I contacted with them and like they gave me a number to make a call to do all those changes and it, it's completely a hassle all right so apart from that I thought do I really need to pay $10 every month for Photoshop and what, what are the main things that I use it for so I, I mainly I'm not a graphic designer mainly uh, I use it for my content production so uh, my, my core task is to crop and resize the images and that's what I'm paying for $10 every month just to crop and resize images all right that's a completely waste of money so i did some research and uh, what can the alternate solution of solution of photoshop for specifically for the for the tasks that i need this tool for so it came up uh, with ribbit uh, and uh, this is one of the cool photo editing software it has both web version and the text version and also the mobile apps so in this video i'm going to give a review and share my experience with this tool all right so let's get started with the text version which is kind of uh, actually it's a cloud-based software but it has a freeze that you can directly use just from your desktop that's all it's, it's not a complete desktop version right so this is how it works you can upload the images it has a lot of features that that are pretty handy to new users you don't have to deal with high-end or advanced tools over here let's try out these are the basic tools the, it, the image got instantly improved that's a nice thing right you can crop it you can rotate exposure you can do all this stuff but uh let me show you the thing that i need the most i mostly need the crop tool and what i like about this tool is uh 1280 by 720 all right if i check this scale photo stuff i mean like the ratio remains same and and you can no matter what the size of the actual image, image is it will crop it down into my resolution all right this is the uh, i mean like i really liked this feature because this is the one this is the what i need the most and in photoshop i have to resize the image and then i have to oh sorry uh, initially i have to crop it down into 16 by 9 resolution and then i have to resize it but in this tool i can do it simultaneously with one single action right so apart from that it has a lot of effects photo effects that anyone can use uh, i'm not into such effects but if you are a effect guy you can use this and like like if you are wondering what are these blue stuffs this is uh, this Filter, filter is available on the premium version uh, actually i'm using the premium version i subscribe to rabbit and uh, these are the premium version and uh, those are the free one apart from the effect there are overlay that can be used for designing or even you can use it in your images it takes some time to load the overlay sometimes because such this this elements will be downloaded from the cloud to your desktop version and then it will be applied on the image as this is a mostly a cloud-based software and you won't get the features available when when you don't have the internet connection 
touch-ups, I'll come to it later on. Let's see the text. All right. I don't know what's happening. It also has a grid feature. I really love it, and this feature is changeable. Like you can have less grids, more, and even more. I don't know what's happening with the text. It's not working. Uh, maybe due to internet issues. And there are stickers as well and the basic shapes like if you are creating some sort of post or designs for Facebook you can use this kind of thing or even in your website so you can undo the stuff from here undo every action that's a nice thing to have and you can also change the colors So we have the all right. Only the border color is changeable. Right? So you cannot change the whole color of this of this lock. All right? Okay. So there are a lot more things that you can check out. And there are frames is uh, very important for some person basically who are more into like uh, need the border for YouTube thumbnail or you may need these frames to hang pictures of your family at your home. So, but there are a few old fashioned frames that I don't like because this is too this is. 2021 and some frames are looking like it's from 2010 and yeah they, they can add much more like modern looking frames here let's see some of those all right that's a normal one let's see all right let's see. this frame looks good it's a simple minimalistic and modern all right so, and uh, there are a few pro features that you can change the change how the image is looking change clone it like you can do a lot of stuff and this pro editor is a little bit interesting thing though it's not available on your desktop version it will take you to the web version all right so this rivet fly is kind of a clone a minimalistic clone of Photoshop. I shouldn't say clone, but it looks like a version of Photoshop, but a simple one. And let it get loaded. All right. So you can see the UI looks pretty much a Photoshop, but a simple, but a simple one because. Uh, there are very less features and very less functions compared to Photoshop. All right, uh, this is what I don't like about the cloud based software. So if your internet is uh, like not working properly, you cannot use, um, like use, it, use the tool properly. All right, you, you can enjoy more or less all the features of Photoshop over here. Do not expect it to do all the stuffs at the level that Photoshop does, right? And uh, moreover, this tool looks more like Photopea. There's another tool which is a free version, and it looks almost identical. Just check out; it looks almost identical. I don't know if the owner or the core company or developer are same or not. I'm not aware of that. Even, even the like, look look at the icons over here. 
these icons the placements are exactly the same the font size these are exactly the same right. so this is a good addition but uh, you cannot have it on your desktop computer this version all right let's uh just play with the touch up all right let's upload a photo let's see how it works like the yard brush i don't know how it's gonna work like let's see how bright all right it's working all right so lip color all right so all right so although click and drag over lips color all right i need to undo this all right so it's a manual thing i thought it would be a automated stuff that will automatically detect the lips or eyes or the nose and automatically implement the effects but since it's uh all right all right so it's the man manual thing if you are more into like face touch up related stops then yeah you can use this section but i don't have any use for this yet I, I just need the basic stuff and that's the reason why i switched from photoshop to rebate so do i uh, really like rebates uh, all right there are some some other stuff that i can show you all right you can have you can create photo colleges over here and these are pretty uh, basic one and uh, let's see All right, you can like, you can change the proportion, change the aspect ratio from here, or you can have like you can make it square one. You can like, make it for Photoshop cover. All right, so one thing is uh, twelve hundred eighty by eight hundred pixel is pretty old one. I mean, like I don't know who is using this spec ratio right now but the spec ratio they should be they should be using over here is 1280 by 720 pixel but uh, they, I, I guess they need to update their stuffs and yeah this this is the good thing i can set my own ratio all right 16 by 9 okay so i can set my own ratio over here but it would be better if they give uh, this option like, very openly in this section without even going to I'm um, like I have to click several times just to get to this option all right and apart from that it would be better to have a pixel version of this so that I can create a canvas or a college uh, uh, just say 1000 pixels by 800 pixels all right but in this case I have to uh fix the spec ratio over here or i have to select uh spec ratio from uh, custom ratio from here so i cannot set my own pixels and uh, you can you, you will be getting all the images that you will upload in this software and you can select anyone from here so i think this is a good addition you can undo the stuff anytime you want and uh, yeah and apart from that you have shapes these are also more or less i'm ready to work as a frame let me show you uh all right i have to select a photo before all right so let's say all right that's how it will work number of photos so these are pretty creative like i can create a shape of music with 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 the photo 
right? So these are pretty interesting thing that anyone can play with. This are, there are many more options, and like if you are more into such like lucrative such exotic designs, you can have this, and you can have a blank canvas. Again, you can draw or create or select photos, do the edit, and all this stuff. And here is another thing: the fancy cards. You can make your own cards and use this to greet your neighbors your relatives your parents just for example there's a father's day all right this is premium one all right here's a father's day design you can set your father's picture over here you can set your father's picture in this image over here and you can create a custom card for your father and in the same way you can have cards for Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, birthday, party and a lot more so this is a good thing so what I like about this tool this tool has uh, all, all the basic stuffs that one may need to edit the images it has filters, it has uh, the option to create college, it has shapes, fancy cards this is some good things and uh, however what i mostly hate about this or i mostly don't like about this tool is this tool is though i though i'm currently using the desktop version of it but this is actually a cloud version of the software and you can't even use the software when you don't have the internet so this is pretty sad to see because this this software will not work. Rebate server is not available at the moment. Please make sure you have a working internet connection. So what's the I'm like if this software is will not even work without the internet, then what's the purpose of having a desktop version such a such this, right? So you can uh, like uh, create a complete desktop version where we can download the elements and do all, all those stuffs based on it because that will increase the speed and quality of the software so if you want to if you're looking for the simple stuffs if you are more into like cropping resizing filtering uh, adding text related stuffs uh, for your images then you can have this software because it's much more cheaper than photoshop it will cost you around three point three three dollar i guess per month and let me show you the pricing it'll cost you only three point three bucks per month if you if you are into yearly plan else it will cost you six point nine dollar you can also use it for free but that's pretty much limited however if you are more if you are looking to get this software for for a minimum price for lifetime usage then you can uh, grab the tool at AppSumo at AppSumo you can get the software at only $59 that's all from me thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you loved it and let me know which tool you want me to talk about in the next video with that being said have a great day I'm signing off